Well, Black History Month is about thanking those who have paved the way. When it comes to the art of dance, the steps and genius of one legend moves others. Robert Battle is the artistic director of Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. CBS 2's Dave Carlin sat down with him in his Connecticut home to talk about some of the performers and performances that have moved him. Robert Battle, thank you for doing this. Of course, thank you. We're talking about moments that moved you, that made you who you are, the choreographer you are, the artistic director you are, or the performer you know you are as well. One of the people that I wanted to mention uh, was Michael Jackson, because when I was a young kid uh, and Billie Jean came out, you know, that, that whole thing and, and the moonwalk. <laughs> It was incredible. We used to call it doing the Michael Jackson, you know, doing the moonwalk. And so that was really influential uh, on me in terms of what would be my trajectory in dance. It was a, a happening. And then, you, but you think about standing on shoulders. Then you look at James Brown and the way he danced. And if you look at James Brown and you look at what Michael Jackson was doing with his feet, you see uh, the direct correlation. There's a through line. Yes. You're extremely generous with, with your influences to talk about them, to, you know, and, and to include them. When I first started to dance, you know, I was nervous about it because the only thing I knew how to do is imitate, you know, imitate um, Fred Astaire. It's all right to imitate, but you give credit where credit is due. Tap was always uh, important, right? I think of Sammy Davis Jr., Bill Bojangles Robinson, uh, Jimmy Slide. I got to see, probably in 1991 or 92, Jelly's Last Jam on Broadway. Um, and I was probably about to go into my second year at Juilliard um, and couldn't afford the good seats standing in the back. And seeing Gregory Hines just sort of glide across that floor with such speed. He was a consummate artist. I mean, just, it, it was incredible. It blew my mind, quite frankly. It was like a magic act to me. Those moments you remember and they stay with you. I'm pivoting a little bit. Please do. Yeah, I'm thinking about somebody else who is sort of the mother of it all, uh, Catherine Dunham. I first saw Katherine Dunham in that movie, Stormy Weather. She had courage, and she was an archaeologist of sorts. I say it that way because she really studied the indigenous dances of her people, um, of the Haitian people, of, uh, and she sort of made her own technique. The time for a black woman to have a company that was touring the world. I mean, this is a huge thing. Seeing her in that sort of interlude, it was amazing to see that fluidity, that grace, that grandeur that she uh, possessed and how she influenced so many other people. And of course, most importantly to me, Alvin Ailey himself. Revelations. I mean, you, you can't talk about dance, in my opinion, and not talk about um, Alvin Ailey's masterpiece that he created in 1960. It's a suite of spirituals, uh, but it is so profound. You hear the first humming in Revelations, and then the cur curtain goes up on I've been buked and I've been scorned with the dancers in that uh, pyramid uh, with their hands stretched with their, you know, sort of palms showing the vulnerability, their heads toward heaven and their feet on the ground. When I was about 12 or 13, something like that, and the Ailey Company came to Miami where I grew up, and I grew up in Liberty City. We were bused to see a performance. Seeing Revelations was like seeing myself. When the curtain went down, I stood up. Do you even recall who was dancing it? Dudley Williams. Yeah? Yeah, who, who was dancing I Want to Be Ready. That was incredible. It's always moving from person to person. <laughs> Alvin Ailey's cry that he created in 1971 as a gift uh, for his mother uh, because he couldn't afford one. It is for black women everywhere, especially our mothers. And what made it amazing, of course, not only the choreography, but Judith Jamison, who he created it on, who, of course, uh, is the one who chose me to succeed her. I'm humbled 
uh, by what I get to do. There are the people who are carrying it forward, you know, and it's still growing, that list. I get to be a part of that extension. Of the many roles held by Battle here at Ailey, he says his favorite is teacher, giving others his shoulders to stand on as they leap, soar, and triumph. Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. As Black History Month continues, you'll see a series of stories here on CBS 2 News. You can also find more reports on CBSNewYork.com.